All right, boom. What is up, everybody? It's me. Boom, it's me, J-Rod, the filmmaker, former film major, frequent fighting gamer from Philadelphia. And you know the funny thing is, I'm actually a year older than the last time you guys saw me because I had a birthday yesterday. I know, don't all cheer at once. Thank you for the birthday wishes, wishes in advance. And if you want to get me a last minute present, you're like, oh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't think about it. I, I don't know what to get you, you know. Go ahead and throw a like on this and give me a subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you are already subscribed, go ahead and consider becoming a channel member for about $5 a month. You can become a channel member. You get extra content, you get channel badges, emotes, and a whole bunch of other things and bonus content, some of which we will talk about soon at the end of this video. But what is this video? You are probably wondering. We're going to be reacting to a new trailer for Star Wars Outlaws. Um, it's a new video game coming out in the Star Wars universe of uh, this. I, I don't know what to think about it. Like, I, it's hard for me to try to explain it. I'm pretty sure they're going for an open world type of Star Wars exploration game. It They're showing off all these really cool features. The graphics look great. There's like a ground to space transition sequence so it just feels like a nice little action rpg within the star wars universe now it's not the only one i have been a huge fan of the jedi series more so the new games jedi fallen order and jedi survivor they do have older games like jedi knight which you know what i have those games i bought them a long time ago because they were really cheap on steam i should play some of those really old jedi games but either way they're there's some similarities between the Jedi Fallen Order, Jedi Survivor games and this game, but there's a lot of differences as well. You're not playing as a Jedi. You're not playing as a, a trooper. You're not playing as anyone with any sort of powers or abilities that we know of. You're playing as a very normal person who seems to be uh, an outlaw, hence the name of the game, uh, someone who is on, you know, on the run from the Empire. And yeah, there's a story built around that. So I don't, I can't get any deeper than that. I don't know any real details about it. But um, they did show us a little bit of gameplay. They did show us like a couple really short reveals about it. And I am excited. I'm definitely excited. I just don't know if I'm fully on board. Like I'm excited that the game exists. And for the people who uh, want to play it, I'm happy that you guys got a game that you want to play. I don't know if I want to play it yet, right? That's really all it is. Um, but maybe this trailer will give me some more answers to my questions. Boom. And we're ready to get into it with the Star Wars Outlaw story trailer. Uh, what was I saying? I am a huge Star Wars fan, obviously. I'm a big Star Wars nerd. I have a, actually a nice amount of Star Wars videos on this channel. Maybe it'll be time for me to make a playlist. Um, even including, you know, everyone's playing the new Star Wars Battlefront. Well, the new remastered classic Star Wars Battlefront collection. I got a game from a couple years ago where I played the original Star Wars Battlefront 2 classic. And the only reason I didn't buy the new one is because the original one still works fine for me. <laughs> like, if I wanted to play it on my original Xbox or my Xbox One or my Steam Deck, it works fine. I play that game all the time. That is, like, one of the oldest games that I still have and still play. And it's still really fun. I don't want to play online, though. So I was like, I don't really see the need for a remaster. Uh, better controller support on PC is probably one reason. But I got a Steam Deck. I just use... The track pads but either way we are talking about the new star wars game outlaws we'll talk more about the old star wars games after this but let's get into it um yeah very excited let's do it each of you let's turn it up a little bit some of the most powerful criminal organizations in the galaxy Ooh, we're dealing with the criminals i like that crimson dawn Ooh. Huts. okay we know these folk it's a golden age and the graphics the look Ooh. the empire controls every corner of the galaxy but they're distracted by a rebellion that won't quit. Okay. It's an opportunity to make millions. But I'm a normal person. I'm not in with y'all. Okay, so what am I doing? A heist? The underworld's favorite new scoundrel. We meet at last. What do you want? Dang. Derek Fang immediately. They're new, rich, and lethal. You cross their boss, Sliro, and now Sliro, he wants okay. you gone. Okay. Rob is fortune. Yeah, I think you hit a. Buy your freedom. Oh, so you hit a this lick, and you got to hit another damage. lick to make it for the last one. I'm in. And was that Han and Carbonite? So I hear you live and die by your reputation. Gives us an idea of the timeline. Ooh. You want to survive? 
know the players. Ramon Calamari. This world. It's your problem. Come back when you're not. All these characters are really cool. Oh, Jabba, right? Look, don't try anything. Oh, Jabba's palace. Oh, you're getting dropped through the trap door for sure. Skipping that part. Hundred percent, she's getting dropped through the trap door. I can tell you guys now. I can remember. It's just been me and. She's getting dropped through the trap door. Doing what we have to. Got an E11. I told y'all I'm a I'm a huge this Star Wars nerd. Is my one shot at freedom. But if we're gonna pull this off, ooh, there's a little bit of parkouring the right in it. And the right ship. Yes. Okay. Seems like they kind of let her steal that one, I but hide. because you were one of the best hunters in the Outer Rim. She's more connected than you let on, Slero. Bess is mixed up in something bigger. All right, so we got a bounty hunter on us. We got Slero. The Outer Rim is a dangerous place. Wow, the environment stuff. Everyone is fighting for their oh, piece of the Oh, look at the change. Look at the climate changes and the different types of environments. All okay. I want is to live free. I'm starting to see the vision, I think. So I'm going to risk it all. I'm starting to see the vision. Is that a... Starlight? Star Wars Outlaws pre-order available now. Available August 30th. Wow, that seems like and you can get three days early access. Every game does that now, but you probably have to pre-order for the early access. Um, just make sure that was it. Yes, that was it. I am actually starting to peep the vision, I think. Here's exactly what this looks like to me, and I do not want to hear you guys groan and moan. You're going to hear me out. It's kind of looking like Starfield in Star Wars. I'm not going to lie. It's looking like a nice little fun adventure decision-based thing. where It looks like you go in as deep as you want. It's probably mostly story-based. But I wonder, like, outside of the story, is there outpost building? How much customization is there how much upgrading is there you know and i don't need a thousand planets i'll tell you guys that now i do not need a thousand planets i played a lot of starfield i still have not even gone to a hundred planets i don't think so that's not necessary i'll be fine with shit i would be fine with like 10 but what i'm hoping is that they do sacrifice on some of the stuff like the amount of procedurally generated planets and galaxies so that they can focus on details within those planets depth within those planets and, and it looks like it like every planet we go to looks like there's people there there's life there there's environments that are nice there's characters that are well designed and actually have a purpose you know so that's what i'm hoping for i don't think i'm going to be someone to pre-order this game I don't even know if I'm going to grab this game until it goes on sale. I'll be completely honest. Because for like 70 bucks, which is the normal price of a new game now, I'm not that hyped for it. But on a sale, catch this game for 50, 60. I like it. I, I like the idea. I peeped the vision. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. It might not run very well on my Steam Deck. <laughs> but, I, but I don't know. We shall see. It's all varying degrees because some people say Starfield doesn't run well on the Steam Deck, but then other people say it runs fine enough, you know? And I played through all of Jedi Survivor. That game sometimes is 20 frames, sometimes it's 40 frames, but I still had a lot of fun. Speaking of that, I think I do need to reinstall Jedi Survivor. I've just been itching to play it again. There's just literally nothing for me to do. Like, I, fin I got all the achievements. I did all the objectives for real. It would just be me showing up and uh, slashing people up with my lightsaber because that's what I like to do. Star Wars Outlaws pre-order available now. But I will say that this story trailer does have me a bit more optimistic for Star Wars Outlaws. I was never doubting it. It looked good at the last gameplay trailer. I think the main problems are Ubisoft. That's the biggest one. That's the biggest hurdle right there is Ubisoft. <laughs> <laughs> they have a bit of a reputation but it's just about it's it's just about them not getting in their own way i feel like they get good ideas they get good properties just don't get in your own way a good example of this as well is suicide squad kill the justice league it has a really good gameplay 
system it has really good traversal really good gunplay really good character designs it looks great they just got in their own way and they pushed too much to make it a live service online co-op always online co-op thing where it really didn't need to because it has a really good story single player gameplay loop as well this looks i'm hoping they just focus in on that solo single player i don't think it has any of those bonus co-op multiplayer buzzwords battle royale roguelike battle pass <laughs> doesn't need any of that stuff make it a good great single player narrative game and then if we want more of it we'll tell you guys we want more of it and then you guys can give us more of it in whatever creative ways you find but that's really all I had to say about it. Do me a favor and hit me with a three hit combo. I need to smash the like button, like Ryu, spear the subscribe button, like Scorpion, and screw it. Shoot the notification like Han. Or did Greedo shoot first? I really don't remember. But, uh, <laughs> or even our new protagonist that we have here. It looks like it's going to be some, some gunplay. It's going to be a little shooter. I'm not opposed to shooters. It's just not my first genre type. I usually like melee combat more, which is why I think... I will like Jedi Survivor and Jedi Fallen Order more in the long run, but that doesn't mean that this game is going to be bad. That doesn't mean it won't be a super fun time. So yeah, I'm excited for it. Probably won't be there day one, but if it looks promising and it looks good, you might even see me playing it on the channel, streaming it, or maybe doing a walkthrough. But speaking of that, like I said, um, we talked about Jedi Survivor a little bit here. I did record some Jedi Survivor videos. I just never uploaded them. It was a weird time for scheduling because I was between two different playthroughs at the time. But I am going to upload those videos for channel members only. Uh, sometime soon, probably probably before the month is over i gotta find the videos first and then i'm gonna go ahead and edit them and put them together for channel members so if you want to check out my jedi survivor playthrough i it should i swear i recorded three different episodes but i really have to make sure i still have all three of them and i didn't delete anything so if you want to check that out become a channel member either tier will get you the bonus content so you can subscribe for five dollars a month as a channel member and that will get you all the bonus videos that I upload. Right now, we got the Suicide Squad playthrough. You're about to have the Jedi Survivor playthrough. I got some first and final videos that I never uploaded. And we will see. I'm going to keep adding to that, never taking away from that. Um, but if you don't want to, you're just a subscriber, you don't have the money, you can also check out my uh, Jedi Survivor live streams. I did two, maybe three live streams in Jedi Survivor. It was when the game was really rough, crashed a lot, but still had a lot of fun. So, guys, that is going to be it for this one for Star Wars Outlaws. Let me know how you guys are feeling about it. Are you really excited for it? Are you on the fence like I am? Um, tell me if you feel me, you think I should play it, and I'll see you guys next time in another new one. Peace out. Ooh. Oh, the outro is sick, and they actually put Movado in the outro this time. You have shame. The souls of your ancestors. I still like the voice. Which of my ungrateful kin are within you? Oh. <laughs> Who's in there? It's dad. 